morning, it is day six and oh my goodness, it was so cold last night. It was that cold, I actually woke up to ice covering my tent, my um, trekking poles were covered in ice, my water was frozen, it was really cold. But I did about 15 miles yesterday and had a great dinner. This lime rice and beans thing and oh my goodness, it was so tasty. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't the cheapest, cheapest of backpacking meals, but it was really delicious, especially when it's so cold at night. And I had it with one of my hot apple cider drinks, and then just took myself up in bed and had a nut butter filled, hazelnut nut butter filled cliff bar. So properly got my calories in before I went to sleep last night. But oh my goodness, it was so cold in the night. Um, I'm so glad I brought my sleeping bag that goes down to minus six degrees Celsius because I needed it. I actually woke up a little bit cold in the night, but not unbearable cold, just a little bit cold. And I was sleeping in my thermals, my puffy, my hat, my gloves, and my socks as well. So definitely needed them. When you think desert, please remember if, you're any, if anyone out there is planning on doing a through hike on the PCT, it gets cold at night, it really does. So I'm gonna carry on walking for a bit and see what the scenery looks like. So I've just stopped for one of my first breaks this morning. It's about half past 10 I think, and I found this little area here all open and sheltering from the wind and I thought I'll stop and have a snack and I am eating, oh my goodness, it's the nicest cliff bar, the cool mint chocolate, I think it's called, yeah, cool mint chocolate. I've not had it before, we don't get these in the UK and it is absolutely delicious, very tasty. And I just said goodbye to my first trail friend, so that was the first goodbye. And it's funny because when you say goodbye to people here, you don't hug or shake hands or anything like that. You do fist bumps, I think they're called. So you kind of just do that with each other's fists. I think it's so you don't catch germs. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, but yeah, it was, it's been nice having a little bit of company as you walk in. And then you're on your own a bit and then people pass you by that you've seen from the day before. It's like a little community out here, I like it. But then you can get your alone time as well. So I've just been stopped here. I've been drying my tent out. I literally put it on the ground and within minutes the ground sheet was dry. And I had the um, the fly in my hand like a, um, like I was flying a kite. So it dried within minutes. It was so nice to actually have a dry tent. So I know that when I get in it tonight, my sleeping bag's a little bit damp from the condensation, but all is good again and it's nice and warm and oh my goodness the scenery has been utterly amazing this morning um, and I can see snow-capped mountains in the distance but knowing I'm going to be walking through them crazy so I'm going to finish eating this oh my gosh it is so hot I nearly didn't film this bit because I am out of breath I probably look the same colour as a beetroot but I'm going to try and keep it real on these vlogs so I am coming up this road here I was all the way up there in the top of those hills and it goes all the way down to a dry creek and then you gotta hike all the way back up again and it's a long stretch without water so I've still got another five or six miles to go before there's any water source and I've got about a litre and a half so I'm okay. It's in the afternoon now so it should start cooling down. I've just taken a break and had some peanut butter and crackers and some dried mango slices which I absolutely love but yeah walking up here is tough <laughs> but I am so glad I have got my umbrella because it is really helping me keep the heat off me I mean I am boiling hot absolutely boiling hot but it just gives it that little bit of extra coolness out here so yeah I really can't walk and talk up this hill so I'm gonna carry on hiking okay so we've been walking up the hill and all these jeeps are passing us. And look what they gave us. We got, what is it? Yeah. Powerade. Powerade. <laughs> so this is Lisa and JD. Hello. 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 Here we go. So this was handed to us out of the- How to drink it without, yeah, so how to drink. share it. <laughs> all right, I'm probably not just gonna Is this like what's a Gatorade then? What's your aim? I'm not gonna be able to, I'm gonna end up spilling this down everything, aren't I? Oh, she's pretty it. good. All right, I'm gonna okay. hold it. Go ready. Uh oh, With my watch your umbrella. <laughs> film you? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> well done. 
Hello. Oh, they're calling me over. I'm just going to go see. Hello. Hi, I think that your friends went the wrong way. Yeah, I think they've gone to get water. Uh, well, there's not. There's no water. Oh, no. I've decided that this trail is magical. <laughs> I was walking up then. I couldn't believe it. I was literally walking up, feeling a little lightheaded, knew I was a bit tired. And a couple that had just gone before me were saying that they were low on water. So I couldn't stop and had to power on to the next stop. So as I'm walking up, all these four-wheel drives start driving past. And one woman literally puts her arm out the window with this great big bottle of Powerade and just hands it to me for no reason at all. I couldn't believe it. And I was hiking. Hi. <laughs> I was hiking with a couple and I shouted out, look what we got! So we all shared that, which was amazing. But then another car stopped us and said that they thought our friends had got lost because they'd carried on up the road and not turned left, which is probably something I would have done if I wasn't hiking with a lovely couple. Um, so what we've got them to do is radio back to the, the, the last truck that they were all driving with to tell the couple to come back down again and then Lisa and JD knew there was water at the bottom so we explained that that was there for them as well but then this guy just jumped out the car and just put loads of water bottles by the, the trailhead so they knew it was there when they got there people are so kind This really is incredible. So the trail goes all the way around here and down there and round there and probably in there somewhere and all the way down here. And I don't know where it goes after that, but it is absolutely beautiful. So hot, but oh my gosh, I think the days are just getting better. It's been so nice because I'll walk and talk. Today I've managed to get mobile phone coverage and managed to talk to home. So it has just been wonderful being able to chat as I hike, obviously with only one earbud in, but it's quite special. Being able to feel like you're sharing it with people you love. But oh my gosh, everyone's been so kind on trail today. You keep bumping into people all the time. See, this is something I wasn't expecting. Bumping into people all the time that Everyone just has each other's backs, asking if you're okay when you pass. Everyone's making sure everyone's got enough water and sharing when the next water sto stop is. Um, I will admit that I have been using half miles for my um, progress and also my Garmin inReach just to make sure I'm on track all the time. I haven't needed paper maps. But I am feeling at a disadvantage because I don't have gut hooks, which everyone else is using. And when I see them using it, it's very good for giving them details on water and information. So I might look into getting that because it does seem a very good source. As everything, it's only reliable as people that are using it, but people do have a lot more information than I have. And at this stage, it's good because I'm able to talk to people and find information out. But if I was on my own, I think I might struggle a little bit because half mile is obviously not updated anymore. So that is definitely something I'm gonna look at getting. But I will say as well, one of my favorite items of gear is this, my sombrella. I know I've probably said this already in a vlog, but I couldn't have coped with this today because, without this today because it has been no shade nearly all day. So I would highly recommend carrying one if you can. It does take a big strain off. I'm gonna carry on hiking. <laughs> this is probably where I embarrass myself, but I keep seeing these cactus. And is it me, just me? Or do these look like little hands waving at you? They're so funny. <laughs> I'm sure they look like little hands waving at me.
So I've just passed a water cache at the road back there and filled up with loads of water. I've probably got way too much. I've got four and a half litres. <laughs> I don't need that much, but it was a tap that was dripping. So it was kind of, it was a good opportunity to drink lots and lots of water because there was quite a long dry stretch there for a while. I've got about another two and a half miles I want to do. I've done 14 miles today so far and I want to try and camp somewhere along here, in between here and Julian, because then what I'll do is set off early in the morning and get to Julian before lunchtime because I have a room book there and I'm going to take a bit of a, a rest afternoon, try and get some videos edited, clean my clothes, get some decent food with vegetables and fruit and put my feet up and try. I've got a little bit of a hot spot on my foot, not a blister but it's just quite sore so I'm just going to make sure that gets lots of air and treat that well. But apart from that, I'm feeling absolutely amazing. The camaraderie on the trail today has been just fantastic. Everybody that passes you is so friendly and helpful. And everyone's just in it together. I absolutely love this. And the scenery is just unbelievable. It's kind of like, it's just mind blowing that I'm walking through this. Yeah, you know, I get to do this every day. I just, I'm still pinching myself that I'm here. It is so pretty. Everywhere I turn, there's like little cute flowers and yeah, it's the trail is just amazing.